today. In our previous lesson, we have discussed about angular displacement, angular velocity, and also angular acceleration, which is the properties of the circular motion. Today, we are going to discuss more about angular velocity and also the relation with velocity. Okay, now let us see your textbook page 261. In your textbook page 261, uh, there is an explanation about angular velocity. So in the previous video, I mentioned to you about tangential velocity. Uh, the tangential velocity that we, I'm talking in my previous video, Actually, here in your textbook, they only mention it as velocity, okay? And the other one is the angular velocity, which is the same here. The terms is the same. The tangential velocity or the velocity is the velocity of a moving object that is moving in circle, which is this one, the red line. Okay, so this is the tangential speed, tangential speed, tangential speed, or tangential velocity. Yeah. Okay. So if we talk about the speed, it means we do not talk, uh, we do not talk about the direction of this, uh, the direction of the object. Okay. But and when when we talk about the tangential velocity, it means we are also talking about the direction. Okay. Same goes to the angular velocity. If we talk about the angular velocity, it means we need to consider the direction. While the question says it is angular speed, then we don't have to consider about the direction. So it is almost the same. It is the same, but not the same. I can tell you like that. So, uh, for the tangential velocity itself, yeah, for example, you are turning uh, marbles using a string, and then after that, let's say after a few seconds that the string is broken. So let's say at this point, yeah, it is. If it is broken at this point, then the direction of the marbles will flies off is this way okay if it broken at this point then it will go this way so different so that is uh, what the tangential velocity describe okay, the direction of the movement after it has not moving in circle again can see uh, that kind of event and for the angular velocity itself yeah is the velocity which we need to describe this whole thing as a system that is moving in circle so the displacement that we need to take here is in angles or what we call as the angular displacement so the angles here that i've mentioned to you in previous video it needs to be in radians you know how to change from degree to radians already so i don't have to teach you again about that and so the angular velocity itself is the angular displacement over the time taken. And this, now the relations between the tangential velocity or the velocity with angular velocity. Think again about the second hand of a clock. Okay, the right one. As it goes round, each point of the hand has the same angular velocity. So the hands of the clock yeah as, as it moves around it will have the same angular 
velocity. However, different points on the hand have different velocity. So let's say this is the hands of the clock. This is the center. Okay. As it is moving, okay, it has the same angular velocity, but every point in this hands of a clock will have different tangential speed okay the closer it the closer the point to the center the tangential speed will be lower okay the further it from the center of the circle then the tangential speed or the tangential velocity will become higher <clears throat> okay sorry oh so so by that explanation we can describe it into a formula shows that speed v of an object traveling around a circle depends on two quantities angular velocity and also distance from the center of the circle then the formula for tangential speed is angular speed times the radius. Okay, again, one more time. So the tangential velocity or tangential speed depends on the questions later, whether you need to uh, consider the directions or not. So the formula is this one. Tangential speed or velocity is equal to the angular velocity times the radius means what the further the radius yeah the tangential velocity will become bigger the shorter the radius the tangential speed will become lower also Okay, for example, this one. A toy train travels around a circular track of radius 2.5 meter in a time of 40 seconds. What is its speed? So it means here we don't have to consider the direction. That's why I mentioned about the speed. This is the tangential speed. Calculate the train's angular velocity, omega. One circuit of the track is equivalent to 2 pi radians for 360 degrees. The, tra the train travels around 10 seconds, so we need to find the omega first, the angular velocity. The angular velocity is 0 0.157 radian per second. This one actually, yeah. Uh, step two, you need to calculate the train's tangential speed by the formula of V equal to omega times are that easy okay you will get it in meter per second so the difference between the angular velocity and also the tangential velocity or tangential speed is the unit also for the tangential speed the unit is in meter per second while for the angular velocity the unit will be in radian per second Okay, now let's try to do number seven, eight, and nine. See number seven, the angular velocity of the second hand of a clock is 0 .0, 0 0.105 radian per second if the length of the hand is 1.8 centimeter. Calculate the speed of the tip of the hand as it moves around. So for this one, if they uh, mention the unit in centimeter, just make it in centimeter, it's fine. So later for the tangential speed, the unit will be in centimeter per second. Okay, and then after that, number eight, a car travels around a 90 degree band in 15 seconds. The radius of the band is 50 meter. That means the angular velocity of the car, still easy. The angular velocity, uh, the displacement, the angular displacement yes, is 90 degrees, so you need to change to radian, and after that, you need to divide by the time taken. After that, determine the speed of the car, again, using V equal to omega times R, while the 
radius here is 50 meter. So no problem for this question. Number nine, a spacecraft orbits the Earth in a circular path of radius 7,000 kilometer at a speed of 7,800 meter per second. That means its angular velocity. So here, you know the tangential speed, you know the radius, yeah, then you need to define it, and then you find the angular velocity. No problem for this number, seven, eight. Okay, if you still have questions uh, for me to ask about these materials for today, you still can ask me via yeah, WhatsApp. Okay, I think that's enough for today. See you again on my next video and Zoom session. Thank you for listening and bye-bye.